okay welcome to mathematics clinic yes where we make numbers real and we bring it to life applicable instances in order for us to find interest in mathematics okay today we are going to look at factors after factors we look at multiples of numbers okay now before we go into looking at what are factors we first of all need to understand types of numbers that we have now the common types of numbers we have which i'll just briefly highlight them the first one is natural numbers now what are natural numbers natural numbers are the counting numbers they are the counting numbers that we all know we are all familiar with that is they are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and so on these are natural numbers okay the next type of numbers is odd numbers now odd numbers are numbers that cannot be divided exactly by two there are numbers that cannot be divided exactly by two that is two cannot divide the number exactly there must be remainder so example of odd numbers are we can see one is an odd number three is an odd number five is an odd number seven nine eleven we have thirteen we have fifteen and so on seventeen nineteen twenty one twenty three and so on these are odd numbers okay now the next type of numbers is even numbers they are a set of numbers that can be divided exactly by two they are the set of numbers that can be divided exactly by two without any remainder or we can say the remainder is zero <laughs> okay now example of such numbers you can see we have two we have four we have six we have eight we have ten we have 12 we will have 14 16 and so on 18 20 22 and so on these number are even numbers simply means they can be divided by two exactly without any remainder we have other types of number as well which we deal with them later okay so let's proceed now at this point we will look at what factors is all about we will look at what factors now okay so factors are whole numbers that divide exactly into another whole numbers without a remainder they are whole numbers that divide exactly into another whole numbers without a remainder for example if we con let's consider 18 let's pick the number 18 okay now what are the set of numbers that divide 18 without a remainder now for example this is how you test it i have 1 times 18 will give me what 
18 right now i'll also do what what are the set of numbers that i will multiply together to give me 18 those set of numbers will be able to go into 18 without remainder okay so if you look at 2 2 times 9 what are we going to have we have 18 that simply means 2 and 9 they are factors of 18 what other number can you think of again you see 3 times 6 will give us what 3 times 6 are what 3 times 6 is 18 so 3 and 6 are factors of 18 all right so these are the factors of 18 if you take a look at if you notice 4 is not a factor of 18 because 4 cannot divide 18 without remainder all right so 4 is not a factor 5 is not a factor we have seen that 6 is a factor 7 is not a factor 8 is not a factor 9 is a factor okay so if you are to list out the factors of 18 we are going to have what the factors of 18 we have 1 we have 2 we have 9 sorry we have 6 before 9 we have 3 we have 3 we have 6 then we have 9 in that order then 18 itself is a factor of 18 in that order okay these are the factors of 18 okay just use 18 as a case study now in the next lesson i will show you how we find the factors of any number okay factors of any numbers i will show you how we find the factors of any numbers so stay tuned for the next video